<laughs> Look at all them chickens! Good morning everybody. Welcome to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm having a glorious one. It is in the uh, yeah, mid 60s right now. Blue sky, at least in part of it. And uh, I'm here on the bike. Can't complain when that's what's going on. Anyway, I kind of wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about, about why adventure riding for me at least everybody has their own reasons why they decide to kind of ride primarily in on one kind of motorcycle or another whether that be on uh, a cruiser a scrambler a sport bike or in my case uh, now an adventure bike for me it kind of all started when I was a kid, I started on mini bikes and dirt bikes like so many other people do. And I absolutely loved riding. Well, as I got older, I went into the military and, you know, having a bike just wasn't really kind of a super priority at the time. And that kind of went, and then once, I, right before I got out of the military, I went out and bought another dirt bike. So that's what I love to do. And I moved to Southern Georgia and I was having a hard time finding places to ride. I didn't know that many people. Uh, my parents and stuff all lived here, but like I said, I, I just did not have a pretty big network of people to get to know and things to do. So eventually I ended up selling the dirt bike and, and barely put any hours on it at all wasn't too long after that I decided I was going to get into street riding and I went out and bought a cruiser and I bought the cruiser mainly because in my head at that time that's what you did if you wanted to ride on the road you went out and bought a cruiser I'm not much of a sport bike kind of guy and there's nothing wrong with it I, I in fact I kind of want to get a sport bike now but um, at that particular moment, that wasn't really what I was looking at, and I bought a cruiser. And I enjoyed it, but there was something really, really missing, and I couldn't put my finger on it at the time. But it just did not feel... When I was riding on the cruiser, I loved it, and uh, the first motor vlog, we were on my cruiser, you know? I love that bike, but there's something missing. and. I kept looking around and I was thinking about getting a dual sport, but I really do like riding on the road. And to me, the dual sport, what I remember of a dual sport was like a KE100 Kawasaki that my dad had. It, it was just miserable on the road. It's a dirt bike. So I kept looking and kept looking, and then eventually I stumbled onto. Um, I think it was Amanda Zitto, uh, Blind Thistle, um, Magpie, I don't know, it sounds crazy, but I don't remember exactly what her name of her channel is, I think it's the Blind Thistle, anyway, I stumbled onto her web, on her YouTube page, and then eventually FTA Adventure, and then it just kind of grew, and I started really watching a lot of adventure YouTube channels and adventure blogs and stuff like that, and I realized that's what was missing from my street riding was I was treating a motorcycle like a car. I was getting on it, I was going where I had to go, uh, and I was really kind of just locked into that. I have never ooh, been down this road. It's funny because my wife's from this town. Ooh, I just felt it. I may have just felt the back wheel hit the uh, tool tube. I hope not, because that means I'm going to have to move my tool tube. Where was I? Okay. So, it turned out that adventure riding, being able to enjoy your motorcycle as 
a means of not just getting you where you want to go, but a means to in- appreciate the experience that you're having. That's what an adventure motorcycle does for me. I'm able to feel the land, go where I can. If I see something that's interesting, I know that's kind of a cliche deal. It's like, oh, you can just kind of point it whatever direction you want and go. But to some degree, it's actually true. And that's what kind of turned me on about it. And then I found the CB500X as a platform and I really appreciated one I loved Hondas and I appreciated kind of the way the bike is set up the way it feels and it's just for me it was like a match made in heaven at some point in the future I want to go get like a uh, an Indian Springfield or something along those lines I, I used to really lust after a scout but I think I like the Springfield better now I don't know taste change maybe even a Dyna uh, we'll see about that I also am interested in getting a sport bike there's a track not too far around here to, that I want to check out watch them run and, and maybe eventually get a sport bike and go run it myself I'll never be competitive or anything with it because I just I don't have that that drive to be super competitive on a bike if it was in uh, a sprint car or something with four wheels or even on a dirt bike I, I probably would but with uh, with two wheels under me, I'm I'm pretty tame now. Two wheels in blacktop, that is. I just saw this patch of pretty good sized live oak trees, and I just wanted to stop and get a couple pictures and and move on. But that's what you know. But that's what adventure riding's all about for me. Appreciating where I'm at and what I'm doing. All right, that was really soft, but uh, we made it. <laughs> Get up on some hard shit, baby. So it's kind of my last call on this whole adventure riding question. When you can do something that helps melt away all the BS of day-to-day life and always puts you in a better place of mind, you really need to hang on to that no matter what it is and for me it's primarily adventure riding I mean there's a couple other things I really love to do but this is the one that always fixes me Look at all them chickens! I hope I got that on tape. <laughs> Ooh, there's a big old dog over there. I was wanting to chase me. I felt it in his in his cockles. All right, folks. So remember, once a day, every day, give yourself a present. Stay safe. Have fun. I'll see you when I see you. Later.